Quick landing page tutorial step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own Wix landing page. So let's get into it. Now, first off, you will have to create your account on Wix. I already have an account, but you can just sign up via your email. And then you're just going to click on create new site over here. And once you click on create new site, this will open up a new tab where you're going to choose which platform you want to use. So we're going to continue on with Wix and the editor X is more so reserved for professionals. So I don't recommend it to anyone that is just trying this out. And then we're just going to skip this section over here or you can enter a landing page and then have a few templates appear but we're just going to skip these two questions over here and then we're going to move directly on to the wix template editor so you can also use the wix adi but i prefer using the template editor and we're just going to click on edit a template and then we're going to continue on to the template gallery for us to begin editing our templates now you can see over here, this is the Wix template editor and this is like the Wix template gallery, I'm sorry. Uh, and this is what it's looking like. And what you're going to do is you can search for landing page over here and then take a look at the different templates that are available. If you find anyone that fits your theme, then you can definitely check those out or you can create your own landing page. And landing pages are basically one page websites. So a website that has only one page, which basically has no navigation panels, they have no other pages is a landing page. And you can create a landing page for affiliate products. You can create a landing page for a simple brand. Maybe you have a store, like a physical store and you don't do online selling and you just want a online appearance for your brand then you can create a simple wix website landing page for people to know what your brand is all about so we're going to click on blank templates over here and then we're just going to start from scratch and then we're going to just take a blank canvas and start creating our own landing page so uh, i'm going to create a landing page for a fashion store a vintage clothing store and you can see this is what my basic canvas is looking like. It's an empty canvas. On your top left, you have your pages section. And on your left side, you have your navigation panel to edit and add different things to your website. So starting off, we're going to click on this add button over here. We're going to click on text and we're going to use heading number three. And then I'm going to add the name of my website. So Jane's Vintage Store. And then I'm going to expand the text like so. And I'm going to resize the font select the text and resize it and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this on the top header and this is going to serve as the basic website name and then after that I'm going to click on change header design and I'm going to add a different sort of header look to this so I'm going to click on customize design and you can see there are different types of headers like you know the opacity and how they look how you can you know make textured headers or something like that i think i'm going to go with this textured one and then i'm going to click on change background page on the basic page i'm going to click on image and i'm going to use one of the free wix images so i'm just going to click on media from wix and you can also upload your own image but i'm just going to search for texture and i'm going to use this pink image over here like so so this is the background that i have and once i've done that what i can do is i can first on click on add and then i'm going to click on strip over here i'm going to resize this like so and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on change strip background and i'm going to click on color and i'm just going to add like a muted kind of gray color to it like so and after that, I'm going to click on add. I'm going to go into the text section. I'm going to add our story and history. And then you can add, you know, more text and images to illustrate your uh, brand or business's uh, history and story and whatnot. Uh, you can add different sections as you go. So let's say I have this our story section. Now below that, what I can do is I can click on gallery and I can take one of these simple grids. I'm just going to take this grid over here and I'm going to move it down below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this over here and then you can add images from your actual gallery. And on the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add, click on text over here, add a heading and the heading could be our store aesthetic. And then I can add images of the actual store. You can just click on the grid over here, click on manage media, and then you can just deselect all of these and you can delete all of them as well. And then you can drag and drop your own images. So I'm going to click on select all delete. And then you're going to click on add media, add images. You can also add videos as well. And then you can upload your own files as well. I'm just going to click on media from Wix and I'm going to search for vintage store. 
And I'm just gonna use some of the free images, but you're gonna obviously add your own. And I'm just going to add this to the gallery, add media. We're just gonna click on add media and add some more files from over here like this. And I'm just gonna click on done because this is just to show you guys how to do this. You don't have to add, you know, 50 images. You can add as many as you want, but you can place uh, image grids like so into your basic landing page. Then if you have like a affiliate, then you can also add your affiliate link. This is just for reference for affiliates, but you can just click on add and then you can click on button over here or you can just take any kind of simple box or button. We're gonna click on button and you can just add a simple button like so. Click on change text and icon and this could be buy now whatever your affiliate is selling and click on add link and then over here you can add a simple uh, url of the affiliate url that you have to start selling your affiliate products as well but this is not a affiliate website but for most people landing pages do serve as a great affiliate marketing website so that is why i just wanted to show you guys how to do that as well and then other than that you can click on menus and pages so you can see you can click on add and add more pages but this is a landing page and a landing page does not have different pages Pages, but you can click on add page over here and create a blank page and then you can make a sub page of your basic home page so for that you just have to click on manage pages or go back into your menus and pages and then you can just move it to the right slightly and what this will do is instead of creating a new page altogether then the new page will be created as a sub page of our initial page so that's just more like terminology and you don't really don't need it so i'm just going to delete this i'm just showing you guys maybe if you have like a larger landing page and if you find it to be too extensive and you want to segregate parts of it and section it then this is another great way to do that as well and after that you can also click on your site design and click on customize to apply a custom or you know a cohesive look to your entire website or to your entire page and then you also have the wix app market over here so if you have any bookings that you want to do on your website if you have anything that you want to integrate onto your website you can do it from here maybe you want emails maybe you want to add a event maybe you want to add bookings so you can add any kind of integration to do any of those features on Wix as well and on your landing page and you can also take a look at the different categories on the left over here that will help you find the perfect tools for the apps that you're looking for so once you have done that you're just going to click on publish over here and then you're just going to click on view site and now I'm going to show you guys what our what landing page is looking like so just in under a few minutes we created a simple and aesthetic looking landing page you're obviously you have liberty to add as much as you want I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own landing page as well and once you have done that you can go back into your my site section and then click on select site to manage your landing page to actually reach the dashboard if you're collecting emails you can find all of that information over here in this dashboard so Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.